Hey everybody, I want to give you a quick case study. I'm really excited about this actually. So uh, we're doing this Keep Christ in Christmas campaign. You can see we have this design and we can see here is my fan page. And I'm going to go to the very bottom of my fan page and you can see that we started this on October 14th, 2013. And we have 1,982 likes and I've had over 430 pledges, people taking our pledge. But we want to talk to you about Teespring. And Teespring is a crowdfunding uh, t-shirt website where you can set up a t-shirt and set up a campaign and they will print them, ship them, and make them for you and send you your profit. Now let me show you a couple of these featured campaigns. So if you guys are sports fans, you see that, uh, or you know that the Boston Red Sox just won the World Series. So you can see somebody did a Boston Champions t-shirt and they, you can see they did not infringe on any of the uh, trademarks or anything like that from the Major League Baseball. 19.99 to buy it, and uh, they have sold 1,583 shirts have been sold, and so that's a campaign, and uh, they're making some good money with that campaign. Um, so it's really, really very simple. So let me show you what we did. So I have my Teespring account that I'm logged into. We did two shirts. We did the Keep Christ and Christmas Women's V-neck, and I did the Men's Keep Christ and Christmas Limited Edition. And then here you can see I titled it Limited Edition. I titled it Women's V-neck. We only sold a, a 17 of the women's shirts, and we sold 65 of the men's shirts. Um, and again, I'll show you these campaigns real quick. So Keep Christ in Christmas. Here's a shirt, just one white shirt, uh, a description about what we're doing, and uh, the style and the order, and 65. And I had originally set my goal at 48, and it ended five days ago. And um, on the women's shirt, I'll show you that real quick. I get I wrote it up differently, and I'm just you know I, I I didn't get the results on the women's I did with the men's, and I'm not sure exactly why. But look at this. I also put a link back to my pledge form in the description, and I thought that could be really good for search engine optimization juice. Um, but here we go. I sold 17 towards 12. But here's the really cool thing. When I go up here to get paid, look at this. See, now it shows me how much I made on each campaign. We made $807.70 on the men's campaign, and I made $105 profit on the women's campaign. You can see here they're sending the money to my bank account, and they're sending the money to my bank account, my PayPal account. So you're going, okay, cool. So basically, you come to this, you can hit launch a new campaign. It's really, really simple, and I'm not going to walk you through this, but it really is very simple. And you can upload your image, you can pick your t-shirts, it tells you how much your shirts are going to cost depending on what shirt you do. So see if I choose that shirt, it's $7. I choose this shirt, it goes up to $8. And then once you put your colors and your designs on, it goes up a little bit more depending on what you do. And the bottom line is it creates a campaign for you. No cost, just a little bit of work. You launch your campaign, then you market it. Well, that's where FB Lead Finder comes in. So here you can see I, I, I typed in Keep Christ in Christmas and I found 39 pages that are Keep Christ in Pr Christmas, right? I typed in Fellowships of Christ Fellowship of Christian, uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Baptist Church, Presbyterian Church. And again, I kind of went a little bit deep on my, on my searches here, but the bottom line is it's endless how to find Christians who might want to buy a Keep Christ in Christmas shirt. So I basically went to the fan page and I started getting involved in the conversation and I started making posts. I'm logged in as Keep Christ in Christmas. So uh, while I'm here, um, I'll go ahead and I've already commented on this actually, a few previous comments. You'll see my comment coming up. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Look at all those comments. There it is. So. Now I should go in and start liking these while I'm here. I'll just do this because when you're you want to like these things and you're getting involved in the conversation on this page, and I'm not sure where. And look, there's another comment that I made. Look at see, Max has some great children's books too. Oh, look at this great advice. So I'm I'm commenting and I have been commenting on these pages. And again, look at people are seeing when I comment, they're seeing Christ and Christmas, and they can hover over that and come back to my page, and they can do that. And somewhere on here, I made comments, and I actually posted the T-shirts, right? So I've been involved in the comments. I'm doing what I'm teaching. And then people come back over here. And then obviously on my page, we are promoting the T-shirts as well and the shirts. 
Um, actually, here's a, here's one of the posts where I'm, I'm you know promoting the thing on the page. So I'm getting likes to the page. I'm promoting the campaign on the page, and that's how I sold these T-shirts, and that's how we made our money for the T-shirt, the Teespring can campaign. Now, what could you could do this for anything? Um, Libby could do this for I love barbecue, and other people could do it for what they're doing. So it's a very, very cool software program, and combine this with our FB Lead Finder and doing your searches to drive traffic to your fan page or directly to the place where you're selling the shirts, you literally can make money. And you can make money in a week, in a few days, and uh, raise some capital. So that's awesome. This is Greg saying, hope you enjoy this case study.